Wealthy people don't necessarily look for money. They create solutions, and money will follow them. Larry Page and Sergey Brin went all out to help humanity find things faster on the internet, and billions of dollars followed them. Mark Zuckerberg created platforms for socialization, and over $71 billion followed him. Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak went all out to reduce the size of computer, and billions of dollars followed them. You! What problems are you solving for humanity? Some people spend weeks on the mountain praying for financial breakthrough without knowing what to do to be rich. They just want to be rich anyhow. It doesn't work that way. Real wealth comes through solving problems. Real wealth comes when we take a critical look around us, see the challenges that surround us, and proffer solutions to them. One of the major reasons why millions of Africans live below the poverty line is our belief that magic wands will suddenly mint money for us. How many cups of mustard seeds did Mark Zuckerberg eat that made him an instant billionaire? How many bottles of anointing oil did Jeff Bezos drink that turned him into an overnight owner of Amazon? If all can listen to the voice of God and do the right thing for humanity, God will be happier with us. This is how potential billionaires pray. Dear Lord, Nigeria has an electricity problem. Our roads are death traps. Healthcare system is in shambles. Our youths are sold for slavery because there's no job for them. Twenty-five million Nigerians are disabled. Lord, please baptize me with fresh ideas on how to solve some of these problems and connect me to the right partners to make it happen. Thank you, Lord. God will definitely download creative ideas into their minds. Dear friends, it's time to change our thinking and prayer pattern. Stop looking for shortcuts to the top. Let's start looking for the problems we can solve for humanity. Money is actually a reward for solving problems for people. Keep soaring. <laughs>